Hi everyone, this is Nathan with the ebookreader.com. For this video review, I'm going to give you guys a look at how the web browser and public library ebooks work on the new Sony Reader Wi Fi. So let's go ahead and launch the browser. It will need to connect initially because the Wi Fi turns off automatically if you um, haven't connected for a while. So I already have it connected, so it's a little quicker here. Um, so let me show you some of the different features we have. So you got the scrolling. If you want to scroll, it actually goes really quick. I'm surprised by how quick the e screen scrolls. And then once you situate on a position, it will refresh. Um, you've got some other options as well. So it's the Android browser. You can do this, uh, the usual things. You can do the double tap and it will zoom in. Um, when you do the zoom, it will actually reflow the text as well. When you use the, um, so when you go like this, you get the little arrows or the little zoom icons. So what it does is it fits the um, text to the screen as you can see when you zoom in as well. Okay, so um, some other options. We've also got the pinch zooming for the web browser too. So you can do that to scroll, to zoom in and then scroll around. I noticed when you do the pinch zooming, it doesn't reflow the text. See, it runs off the corner there. Okay, so some other options. There's landscape mode too. You come in here. We've got different options. So we've got, you can have three different windows open at one time. You can add these to your bookmarks list, capture screenshots, and you got the download folder as well. Let me go ahead and show you the settings really quick. There's actually a lot of settings in here. So if you want, you can turn off the images. You can turn off JavaScript. Uh, that can, that uh, can speed up the web browsing. So we've got three different pages here, actually, of settings. Cookies and then the passwords. Okay, so um, if you want to just uh, go to default or to uh, landscape, you just have to go menu and then orientation. Then it fits to width and landscape. So it's a little bit easier to read that way but you don't get as much on the screen obviously okay so moving on to some of the other features like I said it's the Android browser so if you hold down on a link you get the option to the open and you get the option to save link if you don't have other windows open you can actually open it in another window too but like I said there's a maximum of three windows you can have open at once so if you can't open more windows, you have to go in and then close a couple. And then you can open and get the option to open in new windows. Um, another thing you can do, uh, if you hold down on an image, you can actually save the image. Um, it, obviously, if it's a supported format, supported image format for the reader. Okay, so some of the other features here. We've got the... If your page is kind of wonky, you can hit the refresh right there to get the uh, full page refresh. You've got the forward button. If you want to use back, you just hit the back button down here. And then uh, one other thing I didn't show you, I can't believe I didn't show you this yet. So if you're scrolling, you don't have to actually scroll on the screen. You can use the page buttons to scroll as well. So it scrolls a whole page at once. So actually, that's pretty cool. Um, I like using the page buttons because it does the whole page and then see it ends right here at the comparison table link and then the next uh, page it's like right up past that where the new section and search site link is so that's kind of a cool feature with that okay so let me show you a couple of other details here some of the cool things you can do with the web browser for instance um, actually I forget and open this often for to bring up the bookmarks to bring up the bookmarks you need to tap this button right here and then you get your bookmarks list you can had have multiple pages and you also got your history right there so this is uh, some good things you can use with the, the um, um, web browser. So the mobile version of Google Re Reader works quite well. So does Gmail. So this is how a um, Google Reader lays out. You tap on the news articles. And like I said, you can use the page buttons to forward down. So that shows you goes past the list you were on. And then you go past it when you scroll down. And it has the rest of your list down here. So then it also if you hit the collapse button or if you hit the link it will open the window or if you hit the collapse button then it just closes that specific window. And then you got your other options at the top here. Your feeds. So you can go to hit the uh, specific ones right here. Obviously the back button it always takes you back. So that the one thing is you got a lot of screen flashing. That's kind of a, gets kind of annoying, but 
other than that, it works pretty well. See right there, it could have just done the screen flash once instead of twice. One one thing, I, I had a blog post about this, Dropbox, Dropbox works really well for transferring files like from your computer or from like an Android device or whatever. You just log into Dropbox, use the mobile site, works better I found. And you get your list here. And you just download the files. Okay, so um, it downloads files that it supports, you know, EPUB, PDF, um, MP3s even. Uh, a couple of things, if you want to download an image or a text file, I found out that the browser wants to open those, so you have to hold down on these kind of files and then hit save link to download. And then you do that and it'll show up right on your home screen. Okay, so one other feature I wanted to show you with the web browser is while you're reading, if you hold down on a word or phrase, you get the options for the highlights and the notes and dictionaries and everything, but you also get options to look up on Wikipedia and Google, and what that does is it launches the web browser, and then Wikipedia directs to the mobile version of the web browser, and then you get the reference to whatever, whatever you highlighted. And then to get back to reading, you hit the menu and continue reading. Because if you hit the back, it'll actually take you back to wherever you were doing on the web browser. It doesn't go back to the book. And so, uh, likewise, if you hit down the Google search, you'll get the search options. What I like about the um, search and like the Rita Wi-Fi is that it sets it up um, like this. It sets everything up with the already formatted for the screen. I don't think I already mentioned that earlier. So like with the Kindle, it has a large setting and you have to zoom in on everything like when you're using Google search. So that's one cool thing about the Rita Wi-Fi is it's already set up right here so you really don't have to zoom in. It's already got the larger font. Uh, okay, so some other things you can do with the Rita Wi-Fi's browser is you can download ebooks from sites like uh, Feedbooks. I got some from Kobo here. So I managed to log into Kobo and I, with my Kobo account and I was able to download Kobo books that even have Adobe DRM since I already have it authorized, the Rita Wi-Fi. Um, download those and they show up on the library and they work fine. So that's a, an advantage with the um, Rita Wi-Fi is you can actually even download books from other sources than Sony right here on it. So I've got Bain on there, Feedbooks, those have both worked as well as Kobo's. Uh, so that's a pretty cool setup. And uh, let's move on to the um, library books. So essentially the library uses your web browser as well. So you'll have the link over here on your second page, the public library. Uh, what it does is it launches your browser the first time. So if you haven't set this up already, if you don't already have a library card, you're probably going to want to do that online. I have a tutorial on how to set that up, where to find libraries, even libraries that aren't in your state or whatever. There's some different ones except out-of-state residents. So once you have a library number, it's a lot easier. You come in here, you get search the library, you find it, and then you get your library list here. It adds it to a list so you can have more than one library on here. And then you just go here to search your library. And what it does is it gives you the mobile view of your library's ebook collection. And you can browse through it this way. And then you just load, load, log into your um, account with your library card number. And then you can just download the books directly to the Sony. And then you can open them from there with the, since you, if you already have it so, um, logged in with Adobe Digital Edition. So you have to do that first. Uh, definitely make sure to uh, authorize the device with your Adobe account before. Otherwise, the, the uh, books aren't going to work. So like I said here, you just log in, and then you can come in here, uh, make sure it has available copies, and then you can edit your cart. So uh, they've made library ebooks really easy on this thing. So you go in here, and then you can just proceed to check out. Once you get the titles you want in your cart. All right, I don't know about the security warning. I'll just hit continue. Then that's where you log into your number. You got to enter your library card number here, and then it will proceed to check out. You just got to hit the download link, and that's pretty much it. Um, so they definitely make the library um, downloads pretty easy on the Sony. Uh, other devices you have to sideload it on with Adobe Digital Editions using your computer. So it's kind of nice to be able to have that on here, um, as well as the other browser functions where you can download from other sites as well. So like I said, that is the web browser. Um, it has the link for the library on there, so basically it's just an organization of your list of libraries and then you use the web browser to download it uh, just like you would from your computer. Okay, so I'm going to wrap up the review here. Check out the ebookreader.com. Like I said, i got tutorials set up for like the library setup and all that. Um, I'll also have that review for the Reader Wi-Fi if you want more info. Um, thank you for watching.